I've had a few people message me and comment saying, Can you do a video on axolotl emotions? To which I was kind of like, Huh? I can understand what you mean because whenever you research something or you're researching into an animal, you kind of don't understand if it will have emotions or what the signs are that it's happy. And I think that's what you guys wanted is what does my animal do that makes me know I'm doing a good job. So basically, axolotls will all have different face expressions, but those don't have anything to do with how they feel. Some of them are permanently smiling, but they could be smiling as they're dead. So it doesn't really indicate anything. Some of them are actually frowning and it's, you know, not all of them have that stereotypical smile on their face. Some of them actually have frowns. They don't really have facial muscles made to show expression that I know of. So how do we know if they're content and happy or how do we know if they're stressed and unhappy? Well, one sign of a unhappy axolotl is if they stop eating. Obviously, if they stop eating, something might be stressing them. Maybe they're just full, but if they don't eat for a long period of time, that likely means that they have something going on that's stressing them out and that's why they won't eat. Or maybe they're sick and that's why they won't eat. So check your water, check your flow, check your temperature. If there's one of those things wrong, that's likely why your axolotl is unhappy. Now, another way that you can tell that your axolotl is unhappy is if its tail is curled. And now, this is kind of a hard one because sometimes their tail is curled in a way that just because that's how it is. But if it's kind of permanently curled up, and it doesn't really straighten out any time during the day, there's probably something going on. Another thing is like if the tail is sticking straight up, that can either be in salamanders, that's usually a defensive position when it's in grave danger or near death. Um, axolotls don't usually do that, but they can do that. So that could be something indicating bad water, bad something in the water, but likely, it means that they just have to go to the bathroom and they're about to poop. If they're floating, that's another thing. If they're floating, that could be that they're just relaxing and floating on the water and having fun. Or it could mean that they're sick. <laughs> or it could mean that they're constipated. Or it could mean that they have air bubbles in their bellies. There's multiple things it can mean. The main thing is, is that if they're floating for more than a day and they can't get down to the bottom, the first thing that I do when I see them floating is I usually blow on them. And if they shoot down to the bottom, I'm like, what the heck, human? I'm like, okay, then you're not sick. You're totally fine. You're just having fun, buddy. But if they're floating and they can't get to the bottom and they're trying to struggle to get down and they just can't get down, I usually will separate them out of the tank and put them into a shallow bin of water so that they're not as stressed and they can feel something underneath their feet. So just put enough water in to cover them up. Another sign of an unhappy axolotl is irritated skin. This is actually harder to see on the darker axolotls like wild types, melanoids, exanthics. Those are harder to tell because they have darker pigment and you can't really see redness, but with albinos and leucistics, you can actually see like redness on their skin if it's irritated or peeling slime coat is actually easier to tell on the darker ones. But anything like that, anything that doesn't look normal with their skin, usually means something's going on with the water and they're unhappy. If they're missing an arm, that could be a sign that they're probably distressed oh, a little bit. Basically, if you see them missing limbs, or if you see cuts on them, or bleeding, or any type of thing, gills that are smaller are not always a sign of an unhappy axolotl, but if they're shrinking, that also can be kind of an illness going on, um, fungus on them, any type of thing like that, that means that they're unhealthy and unhappy. Signs that they are happy is that they're eating well, they're, you know, not displaying any of the illness signs or any of those type of injury kind of things going on. They really don't have emotions. They just, if they're healthy, they're happy. There are your extra little emotions for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys later.